know how to make this you know um you know blend shapes on the you know um the organic lines so let me just to show it to you again uh, so you're gonna make a circle like one in one inch and you can just pick any color you want and without outline and I'm going to copy this circle by pressing the uh, option key. And then I'm holding the shift key to put this circle on the same line. And I'm going to change the color to the red. Oops. All right. And now I'm gonna blend this shape. So double click this blend tool and just to make sure uh, the spacing is selected to the um, you know specified steps and hit OK and click from the left to the right circle. And now I'm gonna make a I'm going to uh, draw a wave by using pen tool. And let me just press the ESC key to cut the line and switch now the fill and stroke like this and change the tool to the selection tool and drag all together and go to object and go to blend and hit replace spine. Then you can put the circle on the line. I'm gonna copy this circle by pressing option key and then I'm going to copy another circle. And I'm going to select them together and go to Pathfinder. And I just hit this uh, divide, divider key. All right, so I'm gonna make this the highlight. So now, so these parts are separated. So to separate this, you know, so when you see this, when you click this, these are grouped, right? It's just a group. So I'm gonna make it on group you can make it on group um, go to object and then you can hit on group or simply you can just hit this shortcut button like you know shift command g or command shift g so i just made it on group so i'm going to just delete unnecessary pieces here and then make it smaller and I will put this on the top. And then you can just you know use your own color you now by searching the colors, but um, uh, I'm gonna just you know copy this color by using eyedropper tool here like this. And then I will make a tiny highlight on the top. And now 
I want to make them a group. So I can just, you know, select as, you know, this, you know, circle as one. So drag all together and you can hit command G on your keyboard. So to make a group, comment or control G on group, comment or control shift plus G. So now I can select this cherry as a one object. So I can copy whole thing because it's a group by pressing option key like this. And I'm gonna just make it a different angle. Just like the example. And with the pen tool, I'm gonna draw this brown line. I'll make it curve. And cut it by pressing ES key and switch it. And I just want to change the color of the stroke with the brown color, switch and no fill. But the line is too thin. So I'm going to open the stroke window and then I'm gonna give it a little bit more weight. But it seems like, you know, when you compare to this line, you know, with this the example, now this line is too pointy. I don't want to make it pointy. So you can make it, you know, just to go to stroke window and then this round cap and round corner. See, the line is just changed like very soft, but here, is another you know differences the line is top of the object see but i want to put this to the back of the object so i'm gonna move it then go find arrangement and hit send to back by clicking the you know right side now of your mouse you can find the arrangement so now i just created a cute cherry it seems like it's too short i'm going to make it make this line a little bit longer um, by using direct selection tool Perfect. And then I'm going to make all together as a group. Comment G. Now I'm going to make this watermelon piece. So uh, I'm going to draw a circle. Like it's too big. Excuse me, Professor. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the shift. Now um, let's make this watermelon piece. So I just drew a you know circle. And then I'm gonna make a you know a 45 degree line. So 
So select this circle and from the corner and cross the center. And then heading to the other corner. And let me change this uh, line, lines color so we can see it. And here, I just don't want to make a copy in a reverse way. So I just clicked it and Command C and Command B. I just you know, copied and pasted um, this line on the same spot and click your um, right side button of your mouse and then go to transform and reflect. Then you will see reflect option, no window. And just to you know, make sure um, they click it uh, vertical and hit OK. Then you can make a you know, cross line easily. And now I'm going to cut this, you know, I'm going to divide this circle as the, you know, the cross line, then select all together by dragging all the objects and then open the Pathfinder window and click this divide. And now as you know, separated, but um, you know, as you can see, it's group, it's a group. So I'm gonna make it on group. So now I can select individually. So I'm gonna just delete everything. And then by using direct, uh, direct selection tool and click the top edge, then I'm gonna pull it a little bit up. Like this. And I'm gonna copy and paste to you know, separate the bottom part and the inside part of the watermelon. And one more. All right, so now I'm gonna use the Pathfinder again. So click the divide and ungroup. And I'm gonna just delete any necessary part from here. And now it's time to change the color. I'm gonna use the very vivid red color and then nice green color and let's draw the seed so seed is just a simple you know draw a tiny oval shape and then change the color as black that's it just make a little bit bigger and simply copy and paste in random All right, seems like it's done. And now drag all together and I'm making a group. Let me just make a little bit smaller. All right, so now I don't need this samples. So it's time to make a pattern. So as you can see, it's too big, right? 
to use as a pattern. So I'm going to make it smaller. Together. And then You know, just so you know, uh, you can locate anywhere you want to create the pattern. It's up to you. And I'm going to put this on the center of the artboard. And let me just make a background. And I'm going to put this square to the back. So um, I'm going to make this um, these four um, images as a group. And then I will put this image on this you know, box, um, on the center of this box. So drag all together. And then when you go to the top panel, you will see align options. So hit vertical center and horizontal center, then you can easily set the center. So now it's almost ready to create the pattern. So drag all together and make a group. And you can just, you know, just to make sure open this swatches uh, window and then drag the pattern you make on your artboard to the swatch box. Can you see this? There is a tiny orange pattern is created. So now you just made a pattern. So, okay, so now you don't need this. So I'm gonna just put this away and now I will make a large square and you can just fill like this, you know, as a color. It's very simple, right? Clipping mask practice. So um, we're gonna make this beautiful uh, Valentine's Day's uh, Valentine's Day um, postcard. So now um, you will need the picture. You now you probably you downloaded uh, two files from the model room. So simply you can just, uh, okay. Simply you can just drag the image to the artboard. It's not, uh, just find So simply you can just drag the image to the artboard. But in that case, can you see the X on the center of this image? That means it's not placed on the artboard. That means uh, if you open this file, then, um, this picture will be disappear because it's not embodied. So now you have to make it embodied. So when you see on the top panel that so you must click the image, then you will see embody button on the top panel. Then click this, then you can place the image 
in the Illustrator. Otherwise, you're going to lose this image when you open the file in a different computer. And so now um, I just want to use a part of this picture for making this postcard. Then I will just make a rectangle. Um, the size should be uh, maybe seven by five. Oopsie, the cute pattern again. So no color, or you can just, you know, put the color, but I just, you know, want to see the inside image. So I'm gonna just, you know, put the uh, stroke here to see which part I'm gonna use in this image. So uh, I love this kiss me heart. So I'm gonna just put this image on the center of this box like this, maybe a little bit right side, cool. And now drag all together with the box, the size you want and the image all together. And then go to object and scroll down at the bottom, you will see clipping mask and make. And you can cut the image with the size you want. And now it's pretty much simple, you know, we learned how to make the gradation, right? So I'm gonna make another box with the same size, seven by five. And then I will put the color with the pink, but it should be filled, not the stroke color. And then uh, I think it's too dark. So I'm gonna open the color guide and then change the color a little bit lighter and drag all together. I'm gonna put them on the center by using the align panel. If you cannot find a line panel on the top, you can just find the, you know, open the window, you know, here, go to window and find the align. Then you can open the uh, align window. It's right here. The same. All right. <sighs> recording. So uh, let me just make this uh, top box um, the gradation color. So, you know, just to hit gradient tool, double click. And then, uh, you know, so it looks like the bottom part, you know, transparency, right? It's not filled all the colors to make like that. Let me just change it, uh, change the color like different, different, yeah, gradation. So, um, no, not that one. Okay. So I want to make this pink color. So I'm going to just drop all the unnecessary colors here. And then, hmm. add the same color. Then I will just drop unnecessary color. And see, the all the color bar has the same color, right? And now hit any, any button. And here, here is the opacity option. Then open this and make it zero. 
to make it transparency. And now click the gradient tool again to change the angle. Like this. Now I just made a beautiful you now postcard background. And now it's just a simply you, you can just you know write whatever you want. Uh, since I want to use different font, um, I'm going to just, you know, uh, make a separate, you know, uh, type box. So to type something, just to hit T, you know, the type tool, and just write whatever you want. And A. That. And to change the font, when you click the type box, you will see the character options on the top panel, or you can just add you know, character. Where is it? Uh, maybe type tool. Yeah, type and go to window and go find type, and you will find character window like that. You can just add the character options you now on the right side of the panel. But um, I, I can just use this, use the type with the top panel. So to change the type, you know, select the type you wrote, and then you have to change the tool as type tool and make it highlight and go to character panel and find any font you want you know you can see the preview with the you know the word you wrote like this maybe i would just use this and then to make it bigger you know, it's just the same as the, um, you know, objects. You know, you will see the white dots on the corners. You can just uh, drag it. And, you know, if you want to keep the same proportion, then just hit Shift key on your keyboard like this. Happy. Valentine's. To change the size, you have to go back to the selection tool. And then I want to make a line on the left side of the day. Oops, it doesn't have any color. So um, I will make this a stroke with the white color. And it's too thin. I'm going to make it thicker with the cap and the round corner. And I will copy and paste. And you know what? I'm going to align all together, but this, these, you know, um, you know lines are separated. So I'm going to make these two lines as a group to make uh, one object. It will be easier to make it align on the center. So I just drag all together and then go to top panel to find the you know, aligns options, then hit horizontal align center. See, everything is on the center. And I will change this you know, 
Happy Valentine's Day's uh, color to the right, uh, to the white. Oops, no fill. And just white fill. Yep, like that. It's beautiful. It's not really hard. Now, uh, we're going to use the uh, effect. So it's going to be really simple. So um, everyone, I need you to make a beautiful circle. Oh, it has the pattern. I'm going to get rid of the pattern. Uh, let's just use the gray color. And now um, click the direct selection tool or uh, hit the A button on your keyboard to switch the tool and click this you know, right side of the you know, anchor like this. And then just to hit delete key on your keyboard. See, the right side is gone. But um, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to connect these two anchors by clicking with um, this direct uh, selection tool and click the top one first and then press the shift key on your keyboard and then click the bottom anchor. Then you can select these two anchors except for the left one. So now, Go to ob object, I'm sorry. And then go to path and click join. Or you can just uh, simply uh, uh, hit like, you know, command control or control plus J. To join the anchor. Now I'm going to fill this color with the gray color. So now it's fun part. So click the object with the selection tool and then go to effect and go to 3D and materials and revolve. By clicking this, we can make a 3D effect. So um, what I want to do is, you know, uh, creating a sphere. So to make a sphere, you have to change the uh, offset direction form to the right edge like this. And then you know, you can change the, you know, um, the materials like, you know, rough one or default one. There are diverse, you know, textures. So you can change it like that. Oh, I like gold. Like that. Um, I guess this one is the most beautiful. All right, like this. So now I just made the beautiful sphere. Now I want to make a cube just like this. And go to rectangle tool and make a square. By uh, pressing shift key, you can make a perfect square. Let me just make a little bit smaller. And now go to the effect and 3D materials and go to extrude. Ah, see? And I'm going to make it deeper. Oh. 
and go to material. Mm, I'm gonna make a rough texture. Oh, looks cool. And you can change the lighting now, whatever you want. Oh, I like this lighting. All right, that's it. It's too simple. And now we're gonna do the tricky one. How did you do the square again? Okay, square. Just, you know, click this rectangle tool and then make a nice square by pressing Shift key. And then go to Effect, 3D Materials and go to Extrude. And here, Depth, you can change the depth here like this. And then if you want to make a texture, then go to material and change the texture like this. Simple. So now is kind of tricky part. <laughs> Listen carefully. <laughs> So um, before I start to make this, you know, uh, circle, I'm gonna make the pattern. So um, click the Eclipse tool and to make a tiny circle right here. Then uh, I wanna change this color as blue and I wanna copy and paste with certain gaps like this. And to repeat this, you can um, hit like Command C and Command D to make a same gap like this. And also drag all together to make another row like this and the same, Command C and Command D. And now drag all together and make them group by pressing Command G. And now, you know, when we make the pattern on the top, you know, on the very first practice, we drag this to the swatches window, right? But this time we are not gonna move this to the swatches. You're gonna open the symbols window here, so symbols not swatches, you have to open the symbol window to make the pattern on the 3D shape. And then select this pattern you created and drag this pattern to the symbol window. And you can make a symbol's name, like in you know, a blue dot. And now, can just remove the pattern. And now we're gonna create this sphere. So to create a sphere, now we're gonna make a nice circle. Now it's just the same process. So click direct selection tool to delete the right anchor and then I'm gonna join this top and bottom anchor by clicking only these two anchors and then command J to connect 
these angles, angles. Um, and then fill this color again. And now here is the differences. You're going to go to the effect and then go to 3D and materials. But this time, you're going to go to the 3D classic and go to revolve. That is the different part. Click it. Then you will see very similar process with the different you know, view of the window. This is the old version. Um, by clicking this window, by opening this window, you can put the pattern on it. Mm, give me one second. Let me just change this color because um, I just made the pattern with the blue color. So let me just change it. Uh, orange color. Again, go to effect and go to 3D and materials and then go to 3D classic and revolve classic. And it's just the same. Uh, go find in the offset and change to right edge to make a sphere. And in this um, window, you can change the angle a little bit more easily like this now by dragging this cube like this. And then now I'm gonna cover this sphere with the, you know, the symbol we just created and go to map art in this 3D resolve options and click this and go to the symbol panel and you will find the blue dots you now or you know, any pattern you created in this list of the symbol. Then drag the pattern by covering this, you know, the gray part. Like this. See, we can see the preview. It's beautiful, right? Hit OK. That's it. And now let's make this um, donut shape. So to make a donut shape, you're gonna just use a whole circle. Maybe red color. And I wanna make this a stripe pattern here. So now, uh, I'm going to use a rectangle tool to make a stripe, a thin stripe. And then I will make it black. And I will copy and paste and Command D. Oops. Command C and Command D. Mm -mm. This. So I, think, I guess that's enough. So to making, you know, symbol process is same as the sphere one. So drag all together, make them group and open the symbol window and drag the pattern you just created and make a name. And it's ready to make a 3D shape. And click this circle and go to effect and go to 3D and material. And this time also, you're gonna go to 3D classic to put the symbol and go to um, extrude. Oh, I'm sorry. It should be go to the revolve. Is it revolve right here? See? 
it's a cute donut shape. Uh, to make it bigger, where is it? You can click this offset and then now change it, change like this. Okay, I think that size is perfect. And then go to map art and just the same process. Go to symbol window and then, oops, it's missed the spelling. <laughs> and click the you know, symbol you created and then drag it to fill all the gray part and hit OK and hit OK. See? It's a beautiful tube or donut shape. So how's it going, everyone? <laughs>